What's up guys, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. So, as stated yesterday, I'm just going to start making videos to help out the newbies of Final Fantasy XIV. So, I have so far have gotten to the point where we can now unlock our retainers. So, in order to unlock your retainers, you have to complete uh, three dungeons. Uh, it's Astasha. Um, Tamter of Devecroft, and then Copper Bell Mines. Shortly after def doing these three dungeons and following the main story, you will be invited to talk to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Now, shortly after completing those quests, you will be given the ability to get some retainers. Now, by default, you automatically get two retainers, but to get an additional retainer, it's going to cost you real money uh, I think it's like an extra two dollars to get an extra retainer so if you guys got some in real life money to spend and you guys want more than two retainers you can go to the mod station and set up where you can, guys can get additional retainers so the retainer uh, is in the marketplaces in each um, city major city and you have the retainer Volcat over here in the East Hawker's Alley in Limpto Lamensa. So basically you want to talk to her. Then you have options to hire retainer. Dispatch a retainer to this to the city because if you hire a retainer in another city, they, they go automatically to that city. So to make them go to the other ones, you go to dispatch a retainer in whatever city you want them to go. You can release a retainer ask about retainers and then view market tax rates so before we get into that let's go into the hiring process so they automatically tell you how many retainers you can you can have and basically you go into customer customization so just like um, if you're starting a new character you can um, make your retainer so you can either do uh, load the saved appearance of your of your original character, or you can start off and make your own. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with Aura. So here you can choose their race, choose their height, their skin color. A tail size if they have a tail. How long it's going to be. Their hairstyles. The color of their hair, of course. How they want to look. I'm not going to go into too much detail since it's just a retainer. And there you go. Feel free to save the uh, appearance and finalize retainer appearance. <clears throat> Next, you're going to pick its personality. So each one of these, they actually uh, have their own personality. Um, they will say a greeting and then they will say a departure. Each of them has their own unique so I'm just going to go with the plate, which will greet you in a professional kind of manner. And then it will say goodbye in a professional manner. So then you have to choose his personality. You go to hire this retainer. And then you can name it. If the name is taken, it will automatically ask you to put in a different kind of name. So for the sake of this video, let's just call him Max. Probably, will, probably will be taken. Yep, it's already been taken. So let's change it to uh, I don't know. Let's use my name. Also been taken. Ah, uh, 
let's see here. This use looks uh, like a Kingdom Hearts kind of name. Uh... Alright. Now that you get your retainer named, it will automatically be dispensed to Limsa Lomensa if you earn Limsa Lomensa. So, to um, summon your retainer, you go to the summoning bell over here. And then their, their retainer's name will pop up. And you'll be given a uh, little help from the in game. Once a retainer is summoned, you can entrust him or her with the gill or items, as well as have them put items on the market board. You can also send them on adventures, which I will show you how to unlock after this is done. To entrust an item or retrieve an item from your retainer, simply drag it from one inventory window to the other. To transfer a gill, click on the gill transfer button to open a separate window. So, pretty much here is the interface, it would be the um, beginner's interface. This is before you unlock retain uh, adventures. So, you either entrust or withdraw items, entrust or withdraw gill, sell items in your inventory, or sell items that you have given to your retainer to hold on to. And then you also view the sales history of all the stuff that you've sold. So, let's go to entrust or withdraw items. Here, here you can see a giant list of slots. And also, uh, clusters, crystals, and sand, uh, shards. So basically, all you need to do is go over the item, and just if you're on uh, 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 PS4, PS3, you just pretty much hit X, and then everything gets transferred over. Same thing as uh, the other way around. And if you want to pull this menu up on a, on a console, all you have to do is hit square, and then you can easily or X and easily bring up the menu now in order to sell stuff on the market board you're going to go to sell items in your inventory on the market so if you have a retainer in your in your employee you have you have her him or her place items up for sale in the markets a 5% tax is charged to every sale. So keep that in mind. To put an item on the most first entrust your retainer, next select the item. I just pretty much went over that. Items that are untradeable or bound cannot be sold or transferred to other players. Therefore, you'll be unable to move them from retainer's window to the market window. So also keep that in mind. So, uh, you want to uh, first choose what you want to sell. So, let's just go... I, um, let's just go ahead and go with the uh, animal hide. So you want to um, go with the item you want to sell. Hit the confirm button and it will bring you up this interface. Here you'll be able to adjust how much you want and how many you want to sell at, a, at any given time. And of course at the bottom, you'll be charged a 5% tax on it. Um, if it's like one gill, you're pretty much not even going to get taxed. Uh, because you can't really get any lower than one gill, so. <laughs> Anything higher that actually can, that tax actually can be put in is going gonna, is gonna to take money out. So, this little, um, little page icon over here shows you what is for sale and how much people are selling it for. For stuff that sells for one gill on the market board, don't even bother. Just vendor it, and because it's just a waste of time. So over here we have the sales his the history, which will show you who bought what during the any during the uh, any given time. Um, it only gives you up to a certain amount, so we can't really see anything past this. So it's, it's, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So anything past 20 is you can't really see it. So over on the right, you have the date of when everything was bought. You have the buyer. You have to look how much they bought, how much they bought, the price, and the uh, normal or high quality versions of, of the item. 
it's very important that you pay attention to this so you know how, how to what and how to um, sell out how much so pay attention to how much people are selling um, there are going to be undercutters just please try your best not to bomb an item price because you want to try to make as much money as possible and if you drop too much if you drop an item too much then that item is going to become pretty much um, useless for, in terms of making money so try to undercut responsibly and smart so pretty much that is the interface for selling and buying items off the market board to buy stuff off the market board you pretty much go over to the market board itself which is this little billboard over here which is in any city state and it is marked with this little icon over here so basically you want to go to the market board here you have um, arms and off offhand arms over here you have armor and accessories down here you have different item you have different um, items such as medicine ingredients meals seafood stones metals lumbers cloths um, leathers um, bones reagents dyes weapon parts materia crystals catalysts orchestra rolls airship components minions miscellaneous and seasonal miscellaneous and miscellany down here we have all the housing items and stuff and up here is the search if you do partial match you'll be able to put in little bit bits of the item and it'll automatically research for you so make sure you have that on because it's a lot easier doing that so basically each has its own category I also will scale on by your level so you don't have to go searching for, for gear at your level it automatically um, sinks it to your level so you don't have to pretty much go crazy looking for it and pretty much it will show you all the available items of your level so that's pretty much how you look up stuff on the market board for stuff that doesn't um, scale to your level basically if you're looking for it and just ingredients it'll be, give you a whole list of items that are available and if there's more than a hundred it will automatically give you a um, display next icon which is the arrows down here which will give you the next set of items that couldn't fit on the original page all right so that's pretty much the market board um, also um, each city state will have its own uh, taxes so to view the market tax because this is also a good um, way to um, to sell your items is if the city states has a low tax rate most likely people are going to buy from that city state so to view tax you want to go to the view tax rates as you can see here Limsa and Gridania have normal tax rates while Ulda Ishgard have reduced so a normal rate for tax is 5% the reduced I think is 2% <clears throat> not 3% so um, the taxes will change um, I believe every reset day I think the taxes change so every Tuesday I believe this uh, May 6th is a t is on a Tuesday so keep that in mind the taxes will change every week or I think believe every maintenance as well because I'm using maintenance is, maintenance is on a Tuesdays so also keep that in mind so pretty much that is the retainers so after you unlock your retainer hire one you'll automatically be given the next uh, uh, quest to unlock ventures now each city state has this quest but you only need to do one for it to work so over here this will automatically pop once you hire a retainer you have a, you'll go to the troubled adventurer several adventurers are having difficult summoning their retainers should you wish to offer your assistance you'll find these troubled souls in limsa limsa gridania and Ulda, mostly around the uh, market areas 
or basically the, the main aetherite in the plaza. The Crudania, it's pretty much right outside to on the right. And Ulda, I believe it's pretty much go up the stairs and it should be around, around there somewhere. The rewards will be the same regardless of who you help, so do not hesitate to aid the adventure of your choice. So, the uh, quest will be at level 17, which pretty much where you'll be unlocking your retainer. An ill-conceived adventure, something weighs heavily on the adventurer's mind. So basically his retainer hasn't come back and he's worried why. So basically you need to go find why it's taking him so long. So for Olympsa Lomensa, it's going to be in Skull Valley. For Gridani, it's going to be Hawthorne Hut. And I believe for Olda, it's going to be Camp Drybone. So let's go to El Port in Western Lenosha and let's go figure out why the retainer has not come back. All right, so here we are in Elport, and as you see over here, the area is in, um, heightened by a big um, orangey area. That's pretty much where you'll need to go. So let's quickly run up here. Now, you will see that this area has a purple circle around it. This means when you walk into that, um, enemies will spawn and you have to take them out in order to help whoever is trapped inside of it. So, you quickly dispense the mobs that spawn. Alright, so now that they're wiped out, talk to this novice retainer. Why he's a lava pal, I do not know, but don't <laughs> don't make fun of him because he's a potato. <laughs> so then he'll pretty much give you a sad, sad story about how he sucks at what he does. <clears throat> not because he's a lot like this other. I think in Gridani there's going to be a Makote. And you know, I think there's going to be a Hero, but. So, bows to you, which he should because he's a potato. <laughs> and then he goes back to his uh, city state. So, now we go back to Limsa Lominsa and talk to the troubled adventurer. Alright, so you come here to the retainer. So, then you will explain your person came back yada yada and then you'll be give given the ability to send your retainer out on ventures which you'll be needing currency which are called ventures these you can get through grand company you can do the beast tribes to get them and they also will come in on uh, the um buried treasure maps which i will get to that in another video You can now dispatch retainers on adventures. Also, they also get in, in beast tribes as well. Alright, so now that rare adventures are unlocked, we go back to the summon bell in order for them to do these adventures, you need to assign them a class. Retainer class, your retainer now can be assigned any one class with the exception of those disciples of hand. While it is possible to reassign classes, be warned that your retainer's progress in the current class will be reset. And yes, they do need to level up. Your retainer has ability to become anything besides um, crafters. So you can have them as a gladiator, a, p a pug, a marauder, lancer, archer, rogue, conjurer, tethometer, arc arcanist, minor botanist, and fisher, but only if you have that job or class unlocked. So because I only have the arcanist unlocked, I will choose the arcanist. Now, for disciples of war and magic, they will be going on hunting and field explore exploration mission uh, adventures. For hunting, you'll be able to retrieve um, personal drops from mobs out in the world. So let's go with basic animals that drop animal hides or um, 
or animal skins. Um, the retainer will be able to go and fetch those items for you so you can be doing other things like the main story or uh, leveling other classes and stuff like that. So it'll have your retainer do all the work for you. Yes, I went to proceed and now he's an ar arcanist. Now you have to, of course, equip your um, retainer with the weapon of the class he chose. So I'll give him my weathered grimoire. And now he is able to go out and do adventures. So you also can equip him with gear um, in order to get uh, the um, higher items on, on the list. He needs to be a certain item level. So it's important to make sure that you give him proper gear for the item that you want. Uh, I also want to point out that in order for your tanner to level up, he, you need to be um, leveled up in your own job class or job yourself. So a retainer will not exceed your level. So my arcanist cannot exceed level 20 until I have reached level 21 and so on and so forth. So in order to level up your retainers, you need to level up yourself. So keep that in mind. So if you want to for some reason reset your retainer class you can but you will automatically will be reduced to level one if you choose to go back to the class that you that he was if you start a new job or new class you will automatically be resorted back to level one and you need to start all over so choose wisely before doing this <clears throat> so after you get all that settled you go to assign venture which you will be given. Uh, it just tells you about the currency you need. So, disciples of war and magic. You can go on hunting missions, like I said, and you will be given items. The level range here, you'll be given the items in that level range. Right now, you'll only be able to gather animal skins. So here we have how many he'll bring back, the duration of how long it'll take, and how many ventures he'll need to do this. So I believe the higher level he is, the less it will take for him to come back. So basically, we're going to go ahead and select Animal Skins. Here is his interface, how much you'll be getting back, how much experience this will bring back, which up up at the top right here. You'll be awarded uh, 1,133 which will probably will give him level three or four. So it also tells you the, the completion date. So right now it is 11.35. So it will take him an hour. So in real time and outside of the game, it will be 12.35 when he comes back. So it's a sign and he will be sent out. Now he can still sell items on the, on the market even though he is out. But keep in mind that you will not be able to change his gear while he's out on the mission. Now to keep track of his progress, you go to timer in the main menu here, and then you'll see adventures up here, and it'll show you if he's complete or not. You can click confirm, it shows you how much time he has left, and that's how you can keep track of your retainer. So he'll come back, with the uh, allotted items that I said he would come back with. He might get high quality, he might not, but it's just all RNG. So next we're gonna go to my second retainer. Again, I'm gonna give him, well, I can't really give him my arm because I don't have an actual weapon. But I just wanna show you some I can't really show you. Um, it's also a 18-hour, um, I believe it's 18-hour adventure called Expl Exploration, which will send your uh, retainer out on a mission for 18 hours, and he will come back with a specific um, items that is specific to whatever level exploration you sent him out. So there's I believe up to um, 20, I believe, or, or 
uh, whatever, whatever the, Roman, the Roman numerals of X, I, X is. I think that's 21. I'm not really familiar with my, with my Roman numerals, but when you level them up, the exploration ventures will go up. And we should be able to get more rare and rare items. It's only, but it will be for 18 hours. So if you have, if you have nothing with your venture, you're going to adventure. If you have nothing, your retainer specific you want done, you can send them off for 18 hours. Or if you're not going to be playing the game for 18 hours, you can do that as well. But pretty much that's how you guys uh, use your retainer for ventures. So if you guys want some items, but you don't really want to go on the farm because you want to do something else, send them out and get it for you and let him do all the work. But to make sure that you have these ventures on hand. So guys, I'm um, sorry this video is a little bit long, but this is pretty much everything you guys are going to be needing for your uh, retainers, how to use the market board and everything. So that is going to be it for this video. Um, I really hope this video helps all you newbies out there. Don't be afraid to ask questions in my comment section because I'm always happy to clarify anything that I said in this video. If anything was too confusing, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions directly. So don't be shy. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy XIV videos and of course more beginner players guides. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys.